Chael. I'm Leo. Welcome to Hunter Hunter Theory. Today, I'm going to explain about Kahlua. In this video, I'm proud to say that you can learn more about Kahlua than anyone else just by watching this video. But if you want to know only why Kahlua will never appear again, skip to 1115. Kahlua is a companion of Gon, Kurapika and Leorio and one of the main characters of Hunter Hunter. You may know him well, but you may have already forgotten some details about him because he is very versatile in terms of Nen abilities and assassination techniques. I will also predict the origin of his name and his future activities. So let me introduce him to you. Age. 12 years old. Birthday. July 7th. Height. 5 feet 2.2 inches. Weight. 99.21 pounds. Blood type. A type. Nen type. Transmutation. Ability. Transform aura into electricity. Kalua Zoldic is an assassin who is considered to be the heir to the legendary assassination family. He is the third of five children of the Zoldic family. The family is so famous that Zoldic family's home itself has become a tourist attraction. From an early age, he has had little contact with the outside world and has been taught only the skills of assassination. He is subjected to intense training and torture on a daily basis in order to develop antibodies to all situations, and as a result, electric shocks do not work on him, nor does poison. He is depicted drinking several bottles of laxative juice in the hunter test. Also, in Heaven's Arena, he was exposed to electric shocks but did not take any damage at all, and it was impressive to see Biscuit's surprise when he showed off his Nen ability to control electric shocks. Disgusted with his home environment, he took the hunter exam and met Gon, the main character. When he first met Gon, he had a bright, childlike expression on his face, although his true nature is ruthless and brutal, and he failed the hunter exam after killing his opponent. However, since he started working with Gon, he has become a very kind person. He has never had a friend before because of his special environment, and he tends to think too much about friend. As a result, he often tries too hard for Gon and gets reckless or blames himself too much and becomes depressed. Gon has always been close to Kilua's growth, and Kilua's presence is indispensable to Gon as well. He also loves sweets and has a cute side of spending hundreds of millions of jenny on sweets when he was six years old. The name, Kalua, seems to be derived from the word, kill, as its name suggests. The, ua, in Kalua is thought to be derived from the Swahili word, ua. The word, ua, means, to kill. It is the name that reflects the parent's hopes for him to become a great assassin. As the most talented member of the assassination family, Kilua's physical skills are quite impressive, and his talent for Nen is also described as 1 in 10 million. Kalua is a very talented assassin, but he is having a hard time breaking free from the spell of his assassin's mind. His brother, Aluma, had instilled in him an ironclad rule of assassination. If you can't win, don't fight. With this rule ingrained in his bones, Kalua is accused of being an underdog, and, less than a loser, by Biscuit and Morel. He also feared that he himself would one day leave Gon for dead, but in the Chimera Ant arc he was freed from that curse. There, it was revealed that a needle containing Illumi's manipulative Nen had been stuck in his head, sending instructions to his brain. In order to protect Kilua's life, it seems that the needle was enforcing the rule of not fighting an enemy that cannot be beaten. It seems that Aluma was sticking needles into Kalua in order to carefully nurture him as the successor to the Zoldic family, which can be called distorted love. Also, in Chimera Ant Arc, Zeno said to Silva that Kalua was growing up, and reported to Silva that the needle was coming out of Kalua. Silva responded by saying, I see, which seems to indicate that Alumi's needle was done by the Zoldic family. Silva seems to be laughing a little at that time, what was his emotion? Please let us know what you think about Silva's feelings in the comments. Also, Zeno mentioned that Kalua is growing up, and with his own blossoming Nen ability and his original physical skills specialized in assassination, Kalua must be very strong. After completing the Chimera Ants arc, Kalua is probably one of the strongest in the world. In addition, Kalua can freely use the power of Aluka, which has a power that goes beyond the concept of Nen ability.
Kalua has been training to become an assassin since he was born, and from the moment he appeared, he was already a fully-fledged assassin. His basic physical abilities are very high, but on top of that, he has mastered a high level of physical techniques specialized for assassination. I'll introduce each of them here. 1. Adjusted Hand Adjusted Hand is a technique to deform a part of the body to make it sharp like a weapon. This technique is used to remove the heart of the opponent. Silva, his father, seems to be able to pull out the heart without letting it bleed. 2. Silent Gates Silent Gates is a basic assassination technique in which he walks with his footsteps muffled. Even Melody, who has excellent hearing, can only slightly hear the sound of Kilua's footsteps. The sound is so refined that it is inaudible to the normal human ear, and Kalua seems to have become so habituated to it that his daily walk has become silent gates. 3. Rhythm Echo Rhythm Echo is a technique to create an afterimage by slowing down the movement, and it is an advanced technique based on silent gates. It was an ability that ordinary humans were not allowed to know, a skill of the dark side. Kalua had improved his technique to the point that Netero was amazed. While it hadn't worked against Netero, it had tossed the sub around in the Greed Island arc. 4. Serpent Work Serpent Work is a technique to destroy an opponent's arm by entangling it like a snake. By disengaging the joints, the arm can be manipulated like a whip. Kalua is also able to remove joints from his entire body at will, allowing him to escape when trapped by an enemy. After meeting Gon, Kalua refrains from killing people as much as possible, but he is quite capable of assassination skills alone. Next, I will introduce his Nen ability. Kilua's Nen type has been determined to be transmutation by water divination. Mainly, it changes aura into the nature of electricity, but turning aura into electricity will damage his confidence. About Little Flower, which had changed its aura to the nature of a bomb, Genthru used Gyu to protect his hands from the impact of the explosion. As a result, Little Flower is unable to turn 100% of his aura amount into explosions, which reduces his explosive power, but Kalua is able to turn 100% of his aura into electric shocks due to the electric antibodies in his body. This is due to the fact that he has been exposed to electricity many times since he was a child as part of his gifted assassination training. Kalua is fed up with his life as an assassin, and continues to travel with Gon, but his training in assassination has come in handy in situations of Nen ability. Kilua's Nen ability, which allows him to transform his aura into electricity, can be used not only to discharge and attack his opponents, but also to drain electricity from himself and bring out his superhuman strength. In addition, he needs to calculate how to use electricity and how much power to use depending on the situation, which is a perfect ability for Kalua, who has a brainy side. Let's take a look at each of them. Lightning Palm Lightning Palm is a technique used in close combat with enemies. It releases a strong high-voltage electric current from both of his hands, like a stun gun. It can be used to electrocute or stun an opponent, temporarily blocking the target's movement. Thunderbolt Thunderbolt is a technique used to remotely attack an enemy. A strong high-voltage electric current emitted by him hits the target over the head like a lightning strike. Godspeed Godspeed is a technique for switching one speed to super-fast speed, and is a supporting ability that enables the two applications described later. It allows for quick reflexes by directing the electric aura clothed outside the body into the peripheral nerves of the limbs. The disadvantage is that it requires a large amount of electricity to use the technique, so the batteries run out quickly. Also, when Kalua uses God's speed, his own hair stands on end like a bolt of lightning. The following two are applications of God's speed. Speed of Lightning Speed of Lightning is an ability that allows him to achieve super speed by directly engaging his aura with his peripheral nerves. To escape from Subon, his butler, he holds a Luka in his arms as he flees at super speed. Whirlwind Whirlwind is the ability to automatically perform moves programmed by him the moment he senses an enemy's attack with his disembodied aura. It is a technique that allows him to get ahead of an opponent's attack faster than he can see it with his eyes and recognize it with his brain, allowing him to counter-attack the opponent. 
It is manipulation ability that allows Nen to execute pre-programmed moves, but it can be presumed that he cannot program complex moves because transmutation is incompatible with manipulation. He was so fast that Yuffie and Poof couldn't even touch him, he was completely untouchable. He is moving faster than Pito, whose physical abilities have been enhanced by Nen that becomes strong after death. Kalua could not cope with Pitu's speed at all when Pito fought Kite. Kalua, whose unique Nen ability allows him to surpass a person's limit speed, is definitely a terribly strong character now. Also, the combination of his assassination skills and his Nen ability to improve physical performance go very well together. If Kalua attacks with Whirlwind, he can kill most enemies, and if he misses, he can escape with speed of lightning. In addition to Kilua's strength alone, Kalua now is with Aluka, who has supernatural powers that can defeat anyone Kalua commands. I don't think Kalua would give such an order to Aluka, but at the moment he is invincible. I will be thinking about the future activities of Kalua. My personal opinion is that Kalua will not play an active role in Dark Continent Tark. As I said earlier, the combination of Kalua and Aluka is too strong. Any strong enemy can be defeated by Kalua if he commands Aluka to defeat it. In the past, People with such overpowered abilities have been dismissed from the story. This is the case with Nav and Neon. Nav's scream is a technique that allows him to create an entrance to Nen space by putting his hands together. The area touched by the entrance to Nen space can be forcibly closed, and only the head of the enemy can be sent flying into Nen space. In short, it is an ability that can kill an enemy instantly, and when combined with Melioron, who always has the ability to make the first move in the Chimera Ant arc, even Meruem, the king of the Chimera Ants, can be killed instantly. It is only a speculation, but this is the reason why Nob left the battle before the decisive battle. Also, Krolo made a statement about Neon suggesting that he died. Shizuku asked Krolo to use lovely Ghost Rider in Black Whale, but Krolo refused. It is likely that the author stripped Krolo of his ability to predict the future, as it would have made him invincible. The author has already announced that the Phantom Troop, including Krolo, will die, so it will be interesting to see what happens next. For more information, I've included the URL of the video in the summary. However, Kalua is one of my favorite characters, so I would like to see his appear. Even if Kalua does appear in Dark Continent Arc, I think Aluka will remain on the mainland and appear alone with Gon. In the future, it is almost certain that an entity with more power than Aluka will appear in Dark Continent. This is because the balance of power in the story will collapse. I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds. Please check out the video about Aluka from Dark Continent in the overview. That's it for this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video in the comments. I'd also love to know what character you'd like to see introduced and why. Please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Ciao.